Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of Siberia. Your real world Siberia fact for this video is a deep hole drilled in Siberia became known as the Well to Hell. Religious media claimed voices of the dead were heard screaming out of it. Okay. Well, we don't want to go there for a vacation. Alright, so in the last video we got through talking with Oscar out here. And we dropped off Helena Romanski back uh, to her home here. I guess we could go try to go in there and talk to people again. I don't know that anything will be different. We'll see. Because basically we just need to widen the train up and leave. Try to go in here. He's not going to stop us, I don't think. Let's uh, see if we can find her again. So she's not by the bar. This door is open still. I wonder if she's outside. So we can take this again. I don't need to do that again. Okay. If we go out there, she's just going to come back inside, so... She's probably back... Back in her room, I guess. Uh, there's nothing down here except for that table. Couldn't go anywhere on the sides. Yeah, so... Nothing else to do here. That was the locker room. These guys are still playing chess. Alright, let's go wind the train and head on out. Just thought I'd try to come in here and see if there was anything else that we could uh, get out of the story. This train up. It's the other end. I think we need to pull the lever first, I think, is the order, and then this turn. Thing's jammed. Nope. So we gotta turn the wheel first. Then pull the lever. There we go. And turn it again to retract it back. Let's see if he wants to go now. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. I'll skip any of these if we've already heard them. You know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps... Why? Yes. That's... Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. There we go. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for her at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and wh who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and, uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. You 
You can do it, buddy. <laughs> I said to myself, Felix, dear boy, best to go get Miss Walker. Okay. Like you've already opened it. A mammoth. Okay. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Yes! Yes, go! Now what? Hello, reception here. Felix Masson at your service. Uh Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madam Romanski would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Okay. Mammoth automaton. Okay. Let's make a... Safety save. Safety for in case the game crashes, which it hasn't. It's been running great in this DG voodoo. Oscar should have come in here, so... Well, I guess they did meet. Didn't they? No, we came on the Zeppelin. Yeah, Oscar should have come in here so that he could have met uh, her nurse. I think he identified himself as his nurse. Madam Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Kongosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so bloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink, sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. 
a child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. So she had a thing for Hans. <laughs> kind of crazy. All right, there she goes. So she said go outside to see the plane that's bringing goods. Does she mean outside here? I don't need to do that again. I doubt it's out here. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Varlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh... My job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's... Great news! Good work! Excellent work, Walker! A real masterstroke! I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? 
Yes, Mr. Vorlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure is all over for me now, Mr. Vorlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible, maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. <laughs> Do you want to play Siberia 2 now? <laughs> no, not yet. So I will never talk over this. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's the first Siberia game in the series of four games. Um, the second uh, game is going to pick up exactly where this just ended in this train ride to wherever we're going next. Uh, in Siberia 2 and they both uh, look similar uh, or identical graphically I'm not sure between Siberia 1 and Siberia 2 if they use a completely different game engine or a modified um, it's most likely just the same um, so yeah Definitely a classic uh, point-and-click adventure. And I'm going to uh, go back on something I said earlier. Um, I said if I had any more facts left over about the real Siberia that I would uh, give them out in the last video. I'm actually not going to do that because I do have a sequel to play. There's the blimp. Zeppelin airship so when we do play uh, Siberia 2 I'll pick right back up with these facts because I do have a bunch left um, possibly even enough to get through the second game I don't know maybe not but there's a bunch left so I figured instead of you know just dumping them all on you here at the end I could save them for the next game when we play it Virtue Tools. That's the uh, game engine they used for this. So I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this game, and that you'll be looking forward to the sequel when I play it. Of course, we'll get to the third and the fourth as we progress through the series. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching and. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, and anything else I wanted to say? Uh, I guess check out the uh, series Speculation 
uh, post that's going to be in the community tab soon for the next series that I'll be playing. And uh, I'll post my normal screenshot uh, to give you a clue of what it's going to be. Alright, thank you very much. We will see you in the next series. Bye.